Alright guys, welcome back. And so this is going to be the last video in the series because all we're doing here is going to be a reduction method for solving this like a 3x3 three three master morphics since we have all the centers and the edges already solved. So now we're all only going to be manipulating the outer edges for this kind of thing. And so leaving yellow blue for the top face for later, we're going to be solving red green first. And so let's get that cross going. Curvature here is fit for so green, green, and green. And so we have to get the greens to come up there. And then well, you can see that when you this down, this matches to the curvature, put it up here, another green here, that would come down there, here, oh, that's awkward, okay, and then that come up here so that's part of it complete and then red you'll have it like this so it'll match all the centers here this one's already complete and then we just have to find other red here and here the curvature is up 180 degrees up, and then there we go. Corners for the bottom face, easy enough for, especially for the unit color blends because you don't care about the orientation. And then green. Where is that? And then red, yellow, green here, and so this red is primary, and so then you turn down the red face here, matching up, turn it back up, red, green, blue, here. So green is primary here, turn it out of the way, turn the green face down, do that. So bottom face completely done. And then remember, you have to get it so that it doesn't match the curvature here, and then use the edge formula that is should be very familiar. And then the green and the yellow, so yellow curvature doesn't match up, go this way. Green. Finally, top face, and then just like before, what we have to do is just try things out. Hope they work. So here is that, and then we can switch it with the commutator. So that looks like that, and then because we can switch the corner, switch the center 180 later, so we can just live with this and then fix the corners here. The L algorithm. So we're 
looping the three top corner, top face corners. Brilliant. And so now you can treat it like a fish. And so in order to rotate this clockwise, we would have to treat that as the front face. Alright, and so now what we have here is these corners are completed and then this center would switch automatically 180 whenever we try to do any of the fish algorithms on its own. And then finally we have the three edge pieces that we can just rotate around, in this case counterclockwise, in order to get it back in position. And so counterclockwise rotations, remember fish one to start off and then turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise the entire cube oh my so here up and left and there you have it so with the reduction method and the instructions on how to finish the centers and the edge pieces, you are all set to solving the master morphics.